Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out on this special Tuesday afternoon with us. Uh, welcome to another episode of 49er Insider. Let's jump right into things and we'll pick things up where baseball found themselves in a little bit of a setback this past week. The Niners went 1-3 this past week after falling to Winthrop at home and only taking 1-3 of three at home against FAU in conference play. TJ Nickting finished the week with a 471 batting average and Colton Laws again. I mean, this guy is unbelievable. No earned runs, only two hits and six innings of work, and batters only hit 105 against him. This dude is absolutely unstoppable, but the Niners did fall in extra innings that game on Friday night. And on Sunday, the Niners put up 10 runs in the first inning, nine of them coming with no outs. The Niners went on to win that Sunday game, the only win of the week. The Niners now sit at 17 and 15 overall and six and six in conference play. 49ers men's golf team participated in the Irish Creek Intercollegiate at the club at Irish Creek in Kannapolis, North Carolina this past weekend. Maddie Lamb finished tied for 16th with a score of 1 under par and Seth Gandy finished tied for 19th with an even par and the Niners came out 8th overall with a score of 5 over par. The 49ers men's tennis team topped Bradford for their 10th win of the season after beating them 5-2 at the Charlotte Indoor Tennis Club. Charlotte's Alex Garcia Moreno won his 18th match of the season at number three singles, and Sam Rice recorded his 16th win of the season in a three-set match at number two singles. Moving on to track and field, where more records were broken this past weekend. Sophomore Keon Howe, the men's pole vaulter, finished with a 5.11 meter jump, and that broke his own school record by 0.01 meters. He finished first at ECU's Bill Carson Invitational. And on the women's side, Uzi Kobe finished first at the Bill Carson Invitational with a shot put throw of 15.05 meters. She smashed the Charlotte School record for the women's outdoor shot put, which previously stood at 14.62 meters. No Niner history last week, but we'll have one this week, and it's quick and easy, not something as deep as the past few ones. April 14th, 1987, Ronnie Honeycutt pitched a no-hitter versus UNC Asheville. And now we'll take a look at the upcoming schedule for this week for the spring sports. Baseball will play today against North Carolina A&T at home before heading down to Western Kentucky in a weekend series for a Thursday, Friday, Saturday matchup. No Sunday game due to Easter. And then softball will play UNCG away on Tuesday before also heading down to Western Kentucky where they will play Friday and Saturday instead of Saturday and Sunday again due to Easter. And then the men's and women's track and field team will host the 49er invite on Friday and Saturday. And then the men's tennis team will have their senior match, a doubleheader in fact, at home against College of Charleston at noon and Barton at four. So yeah, a lot of good events this week that you guys should all make it out to. That's our show this week. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week. Go Niners.